Toyota is planning a sales pivot towards hydrogen powered passenger cars. It's targeting these two areas, China and Europe. It thinks it can increase its sales to 200,000 per year, even though sales have flatlined and done nothing over the past decade. However, Toyota say hydrogen is still very much the future of passenger vehicles. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans and I'm the Electric Viking. Toyota is targeting China and Europe in a hydrogen powered sales pivot. Basically, Toyota have admitted the fact that they're well behind with EV development. They're saying that they're going to copy Tesla. They're going to use gigacastings, structural battery packs at some point in time. Who knows when? They're going to use a new fully ground up built electric vehicle platform. But of course, it's going to take them a few years to get to that point. However, in the meantime, Toyota say it's focusing on selling hydrogen powered trucks and hydrogen powered passenger cars in Europe and in China, where they're actually not all that popular. But anyhow, as part of a push to sell 200,000 of these vehicles every single year by 2030. This decision marks a pretty big shift in the focus for Toyota, which is a major back of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles as an alternative to EVs. Until now, Toyota's focus has been on passenger cars and the North American market, but that approach is not really working. The strategy update was the first by Toyota since it set up a separate hydrogen focused unit this month to expand the application of fuel cell technology into wider applications, including industrial power generation and commercial trucks. Now, at the same time, Toyota is working on building hydrogen powered engines. That's a different type of product, plus ammonia powered engines, hybrids, plug-in hybrids, mild hybrids, and fully electric cars. They're spreading themselves while a little bit thinner, in my opinion. This may be a strange way of putting it, but 200,000 is not a big number. Toyota's chief technology officer, Hiroki Nakajima, told reporters, we believe this number and more can be achieved by focusing on China and on Europe, where hydrogen production and demand is higher, but still quite low. Toyota aims to bring costs down, said the company, adding that the automaker would also look to strengthen ties with other companies. It's hoping that it can kind of amortize costs by getting other companies to join in, maybe use its products, use its technology, use its hydrogen fuel cells, something like that. In May, Toyota and Mercedes truck company said that they had agreed to cooperate on hydrogen technology and reached a preliminary deal to combine their truck businesses in Japan. Toyota launched its dedicated fuel cell unit, the hydrogen factory, with 1,350 staff earlier this month. It's it's investing billions of dollars into hydrogen. A fuel cell vehicle uses an electric motor like an EV, but it draws power from a fuel stack where hydrogen is separated by a catalyst to produce electricity. Consumer adoption of fuel cells has been very limited by a few things, high costs, a limited network of fueling stations, and the reality that while they don't make a lot of sense in comparison to an electric car, but hydrogen powered vehicles can refuel quickly and they can have a long range, potentially. Toyota launched its first fuel cell vehicle nearly a decade ago with the Mirai, a niche car that it marketed in California. However, most countries in Europe, in fact, most states in the United States don't have hydrogen refueling stations at all. There's quite a few of them in California, but outside of California, there's very few in existence. In Japan, where the government has backed hydrogen as an energy security alternative, Toyota plans to work with local governments to transition diesel powered fleets of vehicles, such as ambulances and garbage trucks to fuel cell technology. Toyota said it expects the global market for fuel cells to grow to around $35 billion by 2030, up more than 15 times versus the 2020 levels, citing a forecast from market research firm Fuji Hizai. Of course, they've cherry picked one market research firm paper. There's a lot of market research saying that that isn't going to happen. Honda is targeting annual sales of around 60,000 vehicles with a fuel cell system jointly developed with General Motors by 2030. So Toyota, General Motors, Honda and some other automakers still believe that hydrogen powered vehicles will take off at some point. Personally, I think this is the very definition of sunk cost bias. Let me know what you think in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye bye.